we've looked at a bunch of examples where the data graphics have either been designed to be misleading or they look like they have. Maybe they've just come out that way by accident. Um, let's kind of take a somewhat lighter diversion and spend some time looking at how like pure Frankfurtian bullshit makes it into data visualization. So for Frankfurt, right, a liar knows the truth, is trying to convince us of something different. A bullshitter either doesn't know the truth or just doesn't care. A bullshitter is trying to be persuasive. A bullshitter is trying to impress you. A bullshitter is trying to attract your attention. And data graphics can do all of those kinds of things in ways that get, uh, that, that obstruct their ability to present information without necessarily deliberately trying to fool you. So Edward Tufte, the, the uh, author of one of the pieces that you read and an expert in data visualization, um, one of the first to really you know, bring it to the popular attention, calls these kinds of misleading bullshit data graphics, not, not misleading, really just bullshit data graphics, ducks. And he's borrowing this term from architecture for a reason I'll show you in just a second. So he says, a graphic is, you know, a duck is created when a graphic is taken over by decorative forms or computer debris, right, so when you decorate it up, when data measures and structures become design elements, so you're using the information you're trying to um, you know, convey as like part elements of the design when the overall design purveys graphical style rather than quantitative information. So when, when, when style gets in the way of substance. And he's borrowing this term from architecture because of this building which was originally constructed um, for selling ducks um, and is sort of reviled in architecture uh, because obviously you have form complete or, or, st or style, you know, completely overwhelming substance. This may not be a very good building, but hey, it looks like a duck and it sells ducks, get it? And, uh, and so, you know, as uh, Venturi and, and uh, said in a, in a commentary on this, it's, it's right to decorate construction, but never to construct decoration in architecture. And Tufti is looking at the same thing in data graphics and interested in ducks in data graphics. These are, I think, pure Frankfurtian bullshit. So let me give you an example. USA Today really pioneered this genre of ducks. So here's a chart from USA Today. This says, how many glasses of water do you drink a day? And then um, this, little, this, this, this uh, little drinking glass is supposed to give you a bar graph of how many different glasses of water people drink. And it, the axis runs down for reasons I don't understand. And you kind of can't see these bars clearly because the fingers get in the way. And your eye goes to the lemon, not to the values. And, there are a lot of things wrong with this, but hey, it's a drinking glass. That's cool, right? Now, like, read me. Um, here's another one, USA Today, again. Days per week, adults say they exercise 30 minutes or more. It looks like a person on a rowing machine. That's cute. <laughs> um, yeah, not really a lot to say about that. Here's a famous one, how baby boomers describe themselves. So this is like kind of a stacked bar chart of some sort. Um, with these different terms, you know, rep corresponding to different parts of these body, they, I guess is a baby boomer. I don't know why. Um, these numbers don't even add up to 100, right? They're, they're allowed to describe themselves in different ways. How are you going to compare the size of this head to the size of this leg? They're completely different shapes. This is a duck. This is, this is you know, this quacks like a duck. It walks like a duck. Here's a duck. Texting while driving, maybe the you may be the most dangerous thing on the road. True, true. But let's look at this graph. So they've got some information they want to convey to you, which has to do with the forms of distraction that, uh, the, the, that interrupt men and women while they're driving. I don't know quite why they break this out by gender, but they do. And, um, and so they want to tell you about you know, the sorts of things that cause, I mean, you know, I, um, that, 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 that cause distracted driving, road rage, kids in the car, whatever. So. The problem with this graph is that, you know, oh, how cute. These are the wheels of the cars that are crashing into each other. That makes them really, really tiny in the overall design. So you can't really read what's going on. They're using less than, you know, a tenth of the available area to actually display the information. And instead, everything is set up in this kind of attention-grabbing, look at me, look how clever we are as designers sort of uh, display. That's bullshit. That is Frank Ferdian. Bullshit. They're not very interested in actually telling you what's in this circle. They're just trying to get your attention and perhaps tell you this message up here, but this is completely secondary. That's what's going on. What really bothers me about graphs like this is just, you know, uh, in addition to the awful color scheme, right, is just that, is just that they're, uh, they're, they're, they're putting style 
if you'd call it that, way out ahead of substance. Okay. Um, here's a duck from President Obama. President Obama was really proud of the way that he was able to increase high school graduation rates. And, uh, and look at this. So, you know, here are the high school graduation rates. Our little bars are our books, which is a really nice duck. And you think, isn't that cute? And maybe, if Obama's lucky, it distracts you from noticing that there's no axis here. And in fact, there's no axis because this cuts off at about 72 right here, which we just talked about as being misleading. And so these differences between uh, what was happening in 2008 and what was happening in 2010 looks like a two-fold difference. It's a 4% difference, right? Question. Well, isn't this effectively trying to be a line graph? Because it's trying to show changes over time. What? It's, it's trying to show changes over time, right? So shouldn't it be I see. It could effectively be a line graph. That's an interesting comment. Yeah, but if you did a line graph, you couldn't have little books. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? <laughs> All right. Um, here's a foot. This is your carbon. This is like carbon footprints or something. That's a duck. Um, here's a cow on a circle in 3D with a farm. Something about um, land usage. That's a duck. Here's a pizza. It indicates what kind of pizza people like. It's a pizza, but it's a duck. Those don't add to 100 either, but that's fine. I like multiple things on my, on my pizzas. Um, ducks. So, so those are ducks. They're fun, kind of fun to make. They may get your attention, but ultimately the style gets in the way of communicating the information, and that makes it bullshit in my book. Mm -hmm.